car is so cool. All right, guys, we're back over here at the shop. A few last things on the Vega. We had to set up the dry shaft speed sensor, get a shift light to work, which was not the easiest, but I ended up doing it in a user control deal. So got that set up in here. And then uh, the fan, had to get the fan finish set up also to where it comes on and off at the right temperatures and everything. We had it on the wrong auxiliary from where they had it set from the factory or whatever on kind of the pre setup. So we had to make it our own. Everything should be good. Dad got the uh, front end back on the car here. It's looking pretty sick. I mean, this thing looks pretty killer the way that it's set up. So really, really cool. I think we're ready for the first drive. I hope we're ready for the first drive. We're gonna hop in this thing, go cruise it and see what it'll do. Let's see, <laughs> see how this works. <laughs> <laughs> Tall guy, little car. Yeah, it's a little perfect. Just driving down the road with one light hanging out. <laughs> Look at my legs almost. <laughs> oh yeah, no problem. Jesus. One foot driving. Oh yeah. Well, oh, that's gonna be great. You're bound up and that throttle is touchy. Yeah, so I was trying to figure, I wonder if I almost need to take my, ouch. Well, so I can touch that. How am I gonna, Jesus. <laughs> hey, you're in, all right. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> yeah, I have to leave it up. So at least got one on a brake, one on a gas. Yeah, my foot goes clear to the top of the dash. <laughs> so I'm driving with my heel. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> well, you ready to try to drive this thing? Yeah. See how it does? Guess we'll. So now with the fan, we just hope that it drives because this is the same fan and radiator setup from previous engines and stuff. So hopefully it cools enough that it can drive around. We're good. I'm actually going to sit right here in this nice area, right, right in this general area. And uh, we're not gonna go too far because yeah, not safest with all the bars and everything, but this way I can watch all the, the data on the computer and he can just kind of put it around and because this thing will probably be pretty, pretty rowdy anyway. We're just we're just gonna try to stay out of ditches, right? No ditches in this one? Yeah, last time we did this. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're not doing no. <laughs> no off-roading today. No hopefully. trans brake, no none of that RPM stuff. No so. crazy stuff today, so. No, all right, guys. <laughs> Yeah, that was that was a little sketch, but uh, hey, made for a fun video. So, all right, we're going to uh, fire this thing up and head out.
Sean. We don't need triple A. <laughs> we made it back at least. That's a positive. No, yeah, you're, you can turn it off. I think we're good. Get that figured. Yeah, we can figure out the uh, transmission linkage then. We'll be able to transmission off. and then the, the dash. Well, hello, Lil. I yeah, the dash it. is still reading in non-American language. So. Which we adjusted some stuff. Jump high. Jump high. Jump high. I don't know how to get it to oh, convert oh. over. Well, because I was wondering if we have to copy this down, like if they have it locked out. That's why I didn't click on it, because if you look, they have it locked. Oh. Or I don't know if it's locked. Oh, yeah, because even has our RPM, a, everything's off. It has an inch of uh, an option on that page under okay. file that says lock. So not a bad first drive. We made it back, so that's always good. You don't have to call for help, and uh, we don't have to stop because of any major issues. So. That's on its own power. Made it back on its own power. Yep. It's like a good day at the track when it pulls itself back into the uh, into the trailer. This pulled itself back in the garage. So, got a few little things like every car to, to try to figure out, adjust a few things, and then we should be good. All right, everyone. So, gonna call it good for a little bit. My dad's gonna work on the linkage of all of that, uh, and then. I got a few things in the ECU that I need to look at for some reason when we turn the power on and the ECU's off, the fans come on. I think you guys can hear that. So uh, we got to figure out why that is, which they told us that anything powered off ground when the ECU actually shuts itself off, it will, everything will ground. So I'm not sure if there's a way to get around that or if you really need to trigger all that stuff off of power or what. Something kind of weird with this ECU that we got to figure out. and. Uh, I'll update you guys as soon as we get back. We're back over here. I just had a few last things to do. I actually put a little odometer on here and then uh, switch everything over to Fahrenheit on the dash. Now we got some, you know, some Fahrenheit on there, which I actually worked on that the other day. And I put a good like three or four hours into doing all the math channels and all that stuff on the Mtron. It's just a different deal, but uh, learning it, getting it figured out. So actually Pete's here. He's letting the car down. We're going to go take this thing for a drive. And you ready to go rip this thing or what? Hell yeah. Been a minute since you drove it, so. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> <laughs> so he's here to pick it up, so we're gonna uh, fire it up, make sure everything is ready to go, those last few checks, and then he can take this thing back to Arizona. Shut the fuel pump off. Electric. Yeah, where it said. Electric fan? Yeah. Uh, well, it says the intercooler. It's the second one over on the white. The other one is actually your tranny fan. I put new labels on there. Okay. That used to be computer power. See the one? The school and then the other white tub? Yep. Yep. There we go. There it is. Shut it off? Yeah, you can shut that one off. That way we do too, but then once it's warm, it might get more time. Like, go ahead and get it.
got some things adjusted on the screen, and you guys got the transmission mm, hopefully adjusted. Open. So <laughs> we're about to find out. Try again. Ready? Pete's out here trying to. I just drift it. Touched it, and we sneeze? we're doing a little drifting. Yeah. All right, everyone, we're gonna load this thing up and head into Arizona. And our plan is, beginning of the year, is to fly down there, help Pete make some passes. After he gets able to go drive it around and go enjoy it on the street for a while and all that stuff. So, if you want to see more on that bad unit, make sure you hit that subscribe and hit that like button for us. Leave us a comment, tell us what you think. We'll see you in the next video.